Good evening, everyone. My name is Skip Rivers, and thank you for being here. Uh, tonight, I'm going to tell you about the different ways to send mail via the Postal Service. Did you know that over 493 million pieces of mail are delivered and processed each and every day in the Postal Service? Each day, that, that relates to $222 million in revenue. There are several different types of mail that people can send uh, that together generate this traffic and revenue. The most common pieces of mail are first class mail, priority mail, express mail, and metered mail. The variety of mail options people can send makes mailing and delivery uh, by way of the Postal Service one of the most convenient and affordable ways to communicate and do business. This speech will um, be, will describe the different common uh, options to you. The Postal Service has a variety of uh, mailing options and people in business can use the most common mail pieces, options to communicate in writing and delivery, uh, something affordable and quickly. The Postal Service wide variety of options helps them to generate a lot of volume and keep the prices that makes them uh, uh, the best choices to use when mailing uh, pieces of mail. I would like to take this time now to show you the different products that I have here to explain. Well, the first class mail is the, is the most common way that we send mail. Here is a copy, uh, here's an example of a first class piece of mail. Uh, today they use forever stamps, and forever stamps are stamps that can be used forever. Okay? This type of mail, uh, uh, you think of when you send out letters which is regular stamps. The next uh, mail includes uh, letters and packages, um, 70 pounds, which is priority mail. And priority, that's up to 70 pounds. And priority mail is going to start at $7.20 for this type of box. And they can go from that to $12.85 for this particular box. Whatever you can fit in there will be the same price, mailing across the country. And this is a large box, which would be $18.90. If you use, if you put it, whatever you put in that box, it's going across the country. Express mail, which is one of our favorite mail, is mail that we guarantee overnight. Uh, the price is $24.70, and you can put it either in a box, you can pass that around, or in a letter form or an envelope form. It's up to you. But it's guaranteed by 3 p.m., but with today's postal service, the carriers are, are uh, mandatory to have it by, have two customers by noon. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Okay, commercial, which is called metered mail, uh, this is the best way to send a large volume of mail. Uh, it's, it's normally 37 cents per letter to send it, but if you send 200 feet, 200 feet of mail, it's a lot cheaper overall. These are uh, some of the other letters that it's important to know that when you send a certified letter, the cost is $6.70. And this particular mail is protected and you can um, keep up with it and make sure it'll be there to where it needs to be. The, uh, the next mail, is, which is even highly important, is the registered mail, which is in red. And that mail is, is our top priority mail because that mail has to be accounted for in every uh, destination that it goes. So it's recorded everywhere it goes until it gets to its final destination. Um, delivery confirmation is, is the way with future now because everything is going to have delivery confirmation on it. This way, the customer can track and find out where their mailing packages or letters are. And this is a sample of a delivery confirmation in that form. Here's another, uh, another sample of delivery confirmation in that form. The benefits of first class mail uh, are the pieces of, of mail that we handle, we handle with care. They usually arrive at a destination anywhere between three to five business days. 
That's the regular first class mail. Um, there are a lot of different uh, uh, different type of first class mail that can be sent. This is metered first class mail. You pass that around. That's a little cheaper than the 50 cents uh, uh, forever stamp type of first class mail. But it'll still get there between three to five business days. Um, Any questions? I do have a question about so priority mailboxes. Okay. So is that priority mailbox for any weight that I can fit into that box? Or is it does it need to be weighed? Um, the it's supposed to be whatever you can fit in that box, it'll be the same price. But if you got something in there that's way over hundred pounds or more. I'm pretty sure they're going to weigh it to make sure that uh, you know it's going to be inducive with the price of the box. Uh, any more questions? Okay. Well, you know this is a very important topic to me because I joined the post office 28 years ago and I retired from it, and it was the best job I've ever had. Uh, so, uh, serving serving the people is the top priority of the U.S. Postal Service. So you, know, you can you can depend on the post service to get your mail and where it needs to be. Thank you.